Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share to help support the channel. First article of interest for today. al Hafi, the destruction of Iraq's economy was not spontaneous, and we have to diversify the income. The leader of the Communist Party, Jassim al Hafi, considered that the destruction of the Iraqi economy was not spontaneous, demanding diversification of revenues. I have certainty that the destruction of the Iraq economy was not spontaneous and without intent and advance planning, but it was done with an integrated malicious plan and sabotage to weaken its capabilities, he said in a tweet on his Twitter account. He added, what is required is a clear vision to diversify the economies of Iraq and accelerate the development of an economic and political policy, based mainly on industry and agriculture, and accelerate its implementation. Next article of interest. Parliamentary finance. Iraq is able to pay salaries until the end of the year on terms. The decision of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Ahmed al-Safar, saw, on Saturday, that Iraq is able to pay the salaries of retirees, employees, social welfare and other groups until the end of the year with conditions. Al-Safar said in an interview with Al-Sumaria News, Although Iraq is in a financial crisis, but there is a delay in dealing with it, as it did not reach the level of prejudice to the salaries of the lower classes and retirees, noting that, within my personal assessment, Iraq is able to pay the salaries of retirees employees, social welfare and other groups until the end of the year on specific conditions. Al-Safar added, Today we have a new government and we hope that it will take serious steps in order in fiscal policy and redistribute income and wealth fairly, noting that, the issue of salaries and financial allocations belongs to the government and not to the parliament, because our role is to set a general framework for the government's work. Through the law of financial management and budget. Al Safar stressed, the importance of reviewing salaries and reducing the differences between the highest and lowest and there is a need to completely restructure the budget as it is no longer compatible with economic, social and political developments, with the current financial and health crises that the country is going through, stressing, the importance of squeezing unnecessary public spending in doors and names that we do not need, and maximizing public revenues such as border crossings, taxes, state real estate and other gates to maximize imports. Next article of interest. He rejected and warned MPs from the government's resort to external borrowing. Member of the Parliamentary Oil and Energy Committee Mahmoud al zajrawi warned, on Sunday, of the new government's resort to external borrowing to finance the 2020 budget, indicating that Iraq can resort to borrowing by bringing investment companies working inside Iraq to keep the money from being stolen. He says Ra'oa in a statement. Information. The external borrowing encourages whale corruption on the theft of part of those funds, explaining that, there are efforts representative to address the budget and find other resources to diversify the sources of income through the activation of investment outside inside Iraq rather than borrowing outer. He added that, Iraq needs half of the budget as loans to secure the country's basic needs, noting that, the only solution to crossing the current crisis is to consolidate resources and revenues away from external borrowing to avoid stealing money. Next article of interest. A deputy calls on the government to invest 37 trillion dinars to confront the economic crisis. Representative Riyad Fahmi noted that there are 37 trillion dinars in chunky money in Iraq calling on the government to invest it in order to face the economic crisis in the country. Fahmi said in a tweet on Twitter, that, studies indicate that the proportion of the hoarding of funds in Iraq exceeds 75%, and the total amount of hoarded funds is estimated at about 37 trillion dinars. In the circumstances of the current financial and economic crisis, the new government must move quickly to create confidence and find secure tools that attract this money in order to cover the deficit and in investment, he added. Next article of interest. Al Rafidain commences the payment of pensioners' salaries for May. The Rafidain Bank announced that it had begun distributing the salaries of civil and military retirees for the month of May. 
The media office of the bank said in a statement received by the agency Euphrates News a copy of it, that, the direct payment of the salaries of civil and military retirees for the month of May was done through electronic payment tools. The statement added that, civil and military retirees can receive their monthly salaries from anywhere they are. The National Pension Commission announced this afternoon the civilian and military retirees paid the salaries for the month of May 2020, saying that, retired cardholders can review e-exchange outlets to receive their salaries. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Finance Expects Oil Prices to Rise to $40 The Parliamentary Finance Committee expected, on Saturday, to increase international oil prices to $40 during the next month. Committee member Hainan al Kadu said in a statement to information that the government is currently facing the problem of determining the selling price of a barrel of oil within the federal budget bill for 2020, noting that the government formed a team of economic and financial experts to develop a financial dealing mechanism that exceeds the current crisis. He added that, economic forecasts confirm the presence of an increase in oil during the next month, and oil prices may reach $40 after the return of economic activity in a number of producing countries, noting that, determining the selling price of a barrel of oil in the budget is premature at the present time. He continued, the 2020 budget will be devoid of the investment component and will be focused on securing the salaries of employees and retirees. Oil prices rose yesterday, Friday, amid measures to reduce restrictions on public isolation in several countries, which sparked market hopes to boost demand for crude and its products. Next article of interest. The central bank reveals the reason for the decline in the Bitcoin currency in Iraq despite its prosperity in the world. The central bank of Iraq revealed the reason for the low Bitcoin currency in Iraq despite its prosperity in the world. It appears that the corona crisis was a day of happiness. Globally, there is a high indication for dealing with the currency of Bitcoin. He added, as for Iraq, it is still low for various reasons. The most prominent is to warn the parties the government is one of its dealers because they will be subject to the provisions of the money laundering law. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and a global payment system that can be compared to other currencies such as the dollar or the euro, but with several basic differences, the most prominent of which is that this currency is a fully electronic currency that is traded online only without its physical presence. It is the first decentralized digital currency, as it is a system that works without a central warehouse or a single manager, that is, It differs from traditional currencies by not having a central regulatory body behind it. Peer-to-peer network transactions are carried out directly between users without an intermediary through the use of encryption. These transactions are also verified by the network nodes and registered in a distributed and public ledger called blockchain. Invented Alpacon unknown person or a group of people known as Satoshi Nakamoto and issued as a program open source in 2009. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now, the Denarian.